This video is about the ordered list ADT. The ordered list ADT is one of three types of list ADTs that we will look at in this chapter. The other two are unordered lists and indexed lists, which are a special case of unordered lists. So for ordered lists, the key property of ordered lists is that they always keep all of the items or all of the elements in the list in some sort of order according to uh, comparing the different elements. Um, so for example, alphabetical order is what uh, this ordered list we're going to look at is going to do. The key operations for ordered lists are add, remove, and first and last. Of course, there are other standard operations like uh, is empty and contains and size, uh, but uh, these are, I think, the key ones. In particular, notice there's only one way to add to an ordered list because whenever we add something to the ordered list, the ordered list is going to automatically determine where it should go in the list. So let's look at an example. Let's suppose that we have a list, an ordered list, that initially contains the names Albert and Bob. And then we call add with the name Alice. Well, Alice, of course, is going to go here between Albert and Bob. So somehow the underlying implementation is going to put Alice in between Albert and Bob. And now this is what our list looks like. And then let's suppose that we call add with uh, the name Charlie. Well, Charlie should go at the very end here after the Bob. So this is where Charlie will get added. And then lastly, let's suppose we add the name Abby. Well, Abby needs to go prior to Albert in alphabetical order. So Abby will go over here. So the ordered list ADT maintains all of the items in it in some uh, sorted order that is uh, predefined, like alphabetical order or numerically ascending order or something like that. Conceptually, that's what it does. How the implementation underneath actually maintains the list to do that is not relevant to the ordered list ADT itself. But of course, implementations might do something like shift elements in an array, or they might use a linked list. Uh, there are different options for implementation. So key differentiators for the ordered list are that it always keeps everything in it in some predetermined order, such as alphabetical order or lexicographic order, and uh, that it only has one add operation because anytime we add to an ordered list, the ordered list determines where the item is placed. We don't determine it. It is a property of the element, how the element compares to other elements in the list that, determine, that determines where the item is placed.